everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an updating program for your tool. Now, this is actually going to be like probably a two part series because it's going to be kind of long. Um, in this video, I'll show you the first part, which will be the actual. We're going to have two applications, so the application that's the actual one that you'll be using, and there's going to be a separate application which is obviously going to be the updating one because we need another one to control the one that you want to update uh, so if you're kind of confused don't worry I will explain it as we go on uh, but the one that we're creating today is the one that will be downloaded if the main program detects an update and it will control the downloading of the new file and so on so it's kind of like a one-time download thing and it will sort your program out so I've just created a new project here and to be sure we're using Visual Basic for the language because I know some people do still get confused. Um, so when you create a project, do create Visual Basic or like so. And let's get right into this. So I'm going to double click it because we want to go into the code uh, and we want to go into the um, form load sub here. And what we want to do is we want to actually check if the tool is open so this is the tool that would want to be updating so we can do this by saying for each uh, let's call it proc short for process as uh, process in processes or process dot get processes like that and we want to get the process name of the file now we don't actually know the name of the file because I didn't create that yet so I'll just go ahead and put us placeholder so we can say if proc dot process name is equal to now this would be where your tool name is so let's say your tool is called Skype tool you'd say Skype tool like that so if the process name is detected then we want to shut the process because we can't work with it open basically this is what this part of the codes for so we can just say proc dot kill like that and then after we've killed it we can get the update so we can say get update and we'll create that function in a second now we want to have an else uh, here so if the process is not detected obviously it must already be shut so let's just get the update again so if it's already shut we're just getting the update again pretty simple uh, so now let's all well, that will be when we open the when we open the little update program it will basically check if it's open and then if it is kill it get the update so we need to create that new sub now so we can say public public sub get update and inside here what we want to do is actually we need to go to the top of our code and create a few things um, first of all what we want to do is get the actual directory because this is going to be downloaded to the file or the directory of the main application uh, so we can say dim directory path as a string and that will be equal to my dot application dot info dot directory path and we'll use this because it helps us access the path uh, quicker in the future within our code um, we're also going to be creating a web client because we'll be using that to uh, control the download of our file or our new file and that will be as a new system dot net dot web client and um, we also want to state the location of the, the actual file that we want to update in this case we'll just call it tool so dim tool as a string um, we're using a string because it's just we want the path of the of the thing and that will be equal to our directory path and the name of the tool and you need to put the uh, backslash here uh, for the directory to register it and it will just be let's say skype tool.exe for now remember this skype tool and this here will be changed to the name of your application you want to update uh, so now we've done that we can go back to our get update function and inside here we want to check if the file exists uh, so we can say if system if system.io.file.exists and inside here we want to check if the tool exists because this is our the one we want to update so if <coughs> if it exists inside the directory 
then what we want to do is delete it because uh, we w we can't download something and replace it. If we delete it and then download it, it's much easier. So how we do that is we say system dot io dot file dot delete, and we want to just delete the tool because it exists. Now, if it don't exist inside here, is we're just going to download whatever we're going to do after we we deleted it. Uh, so what we want to do is obviously download the file now. So how we do that is we say w client which is the name of our web client we just created and we want to download file uh, we can use file or async we'll just use an async and what we want to say is a new URI and that will be the URL for the file where, wherever you have it stored wherever your new update or your new updated file is stored it would go here so we'd say update link we don't have this link yet because we're going to be covering that in the next uh, episode so I'll just leave that like that and you'd want to put outside of the URL URI bracket you want to put a comma and say directory path plus and whatever the files called which will be uh, Skype tool again because we have to give it a name uh, and the directory path where it's going and then after that what we want to do is we just want to have a timer start because Actually, let me just go into the design and uh, get a timer real quick. The reason we want this timer is because... Hold on, let me just type that out. We want the timer because once we've downloaded the file, we just want to give it a bit of time for everything to go through and update correctly. And inside the timer code will actually trigger what is like a... We'll, we'll delete this file and then we'll launch the new one uh, so we, what we can do is we can copy this code and we need to paste it inside the else statement there um, for if it don't exist we just want to do the same so now what we can do is go to our timer code uh, which we can just double click the timer here and what we want that to do is we want to say process process dot start then we can use the directory path which we created and the name of the file which we want to launch which will be the new file again it's going to be skype tool.exe and once we launch that new file we want to shut this one because we no longer need it and we can just do that by application.exit like that and we want to have the if we go back to the timer we want to set the interval let's just give it 10 seconds so we'll just say 10,000 so once it's done it will give it 10 seconds to everything to register correctly and then it will shut it um, so that's basically it for this episode in the next one we'll create the, the other application which will be your main application and we'll input if there's an update then download this auto update file we just created which will take care of the update so if you're still a bit confused I'll just explain it uh, what's, what's happening here is we're loading it up uh, when it's loaded um, it's checking for the process and if it's the process exists then it's going to shut it and update if it don't exist it's going to update anyway and then when we call this update uh, function what it's going to do is check if the actual tool exists and if it does it's just going to delete it and then download the new one and then if it don't exist it's just going to do what we just did there and then the time is going to start and open up the new file the new file which this code just downloaded and then shut this one and then our other application will delete this file because it's no longer needed it's did its job it took care of the update and there it's done so yeah i hope you did enjoy the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and i'll see you next time